Before I get started with my tutorial today, I want to give a huge shout out to Neville for putting me onto this project. He was complaining about how the 35th anniversary does not feel complete. This was the Nintendo's opportunity to fix all the problems that the reviewers have been complaining about, and they did not do that with Sunshine. A person by the name of Epic Ward has taken the time out of his busy schedule to get Super Mario Sunshine to play more like 64 to create Sunshine in the way that it should have been. Today on Help Tech, I'm going to teach you guys on how to get Super Mario Sunshine the way that it should have launched when it first came out on the GameCube. So the good thing about this is that this is really easy to do. To be able to do this, you're going to want to head to this website right here and we're going to migrate about halfway down this page and we're going to say manual download and download right here. Now unfortunately this does not include any ROM files, this is going to be really quick to download but it's quick because it doesn't have the base game. Now where do you get the base game? Well, luckily for you guys, I have a video already on that subject. Follow that video, get the game for free, and for the purposes of this tutorial, I've added all the files we're going to need on my desktop right here. Now, I have an extra one because I've already extracted the files, but to be able to do that, uh, you're just going to highlight all these, extract two, same location where you have all your files, and then you're going to get a file like this. Now, we're going to say the Delta Patcher Lite. We're going to open this and we're going to get this file right here. Now, the original file is the ROM file. So, um, desktop. What's the name of it? It's that. And I'm going to put this in. And for the Delta Patcher, you're going to want to locate the mod folder that we ended up creating. And basically inside of this folder, we end up having two options. Now these two options are pretty much the same from each other. They give you the ability to get to other worlds by going to other worlds. They gives you the ability to get shine sprites and then get extra shine sprites along the way. They're pretty much the same in that area. Again, I'll go more into this towards the end of the video because there's certain rules that certain levels don't play by. But again, I'll save that towards the end of the video. Where these two files differ from each other is how you get to Bowser. So the Shadow Mario one that I'm hovering over doesn't change anything with how you get to Bowser. Basically, when you wanted to play the game and you wanted to get to Bowser in the base game, you ended up having to defeat Shadow Mario as many times that the game had to offer to you. You had to defeat him and then Bowser would open up. It wasn't dependent on Shine Sprites. Making the blue coins, making the extra collectibles like going back to Secret Worlds and doing the red coin missions pointless get 100 coins that's pointless too so what the 70 shine sprite patcher does it makes that stuff more useful to the game and i would recommend for you to use that patch because every reviewer seems to hate the way that the game has to get to bowser and this just makes the game play more like 64. thank god i can avoid worlds that i don't want to go near because now i have the ability to pick and choose to get to bowser all right, so the file is now patched and we have it right here. So I'm going to exit out of this and just a few things that I would do now. Um, the file still has the same name as the regular file for Super Mario Sunshine. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to rename this file to Sunburn. And now what I'm going to end up doing is locating where my games go. So we're going to say uh, open up containing folder. And then I'm going to take this file and we're going to set it into here and I'm going to re-update this particular pack now. And there it is guys. Now why is it important for me to add this into Dolphin? Well in my next video I'm going to show you guys on how to get the game to run at 60 FPS, how to get the HD modification pack to the game, and how to fix the falling star glitch that the game definitely has which is definitely annoying. Anyway, folks, subscribe to the channel to get notified when that video comes out. And for a few last things before I go, this is the stuff that just simply does not work with Super Mario Sunburn yet, and hopefully it will get fixed in the near future. I thought that was better, put it this way, than having to hear what this person has to say through this particular speech box. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on.